My journey across Australia starts in Tasmania, right at the bottom of the world. This is the Southern Ocean. It's as far south as you can go in Australia. If I was to start swimming that way, then the next landfall would be Antarctica. It might be a little bit cold for a dip, though. Tasmania's fringed by the highest sea cliffs on the continent and has some wonderful wildlife. birds here are white-faced cormorants. They're like a blueprint for a near-shore seabird. You notice the body is very uh, long and dart-shaped, and the wings are quite short and stubby, which makes them perfect for diving into the water and catching fish that are near to the surface. These here are Australian fur seals. The only place in the world you'd find them is here in southern Australia. Looks like they might be about to go in for a dip. Seals are very social animals and can be found in enormous colonies. This smaller seal city, though, is called a haul-out. It's an area that seals will come up to and haul themselves out of the sea, bask in the sun, in between hunting trips. They're not as clumsy on land as some species of seal are but they're certainly not their best up here. To see them at their absolute best, you have to get into their own environment, and that's down there. Looks like I'm going for a swim after all. The water here is pretty cold, but the seals don't seem to mind because they have this thick layer of blubbers to keep them warm. Oh, isn't that amazing? Seals are mammals like us that need to breathe oxygen to survive. They can carry four times more oxygen in their blood than we can, which means they can stay underwater for a lot, lot longer. They hunt for all kinds of fish in the kelp, using echolocation, sort of like bats do. They also cope with the currents a lot better than I do. The kelp forest is home to an amazing variety of weird and wonderful sea beasties. And I was about to come face to face with a real life undersea dragon. Now this is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen underwater. It's a weedy sea dragon, closely related to the seahorses. And this is another species which is only found here, off Australia's southern coast. They're actually the most amazing hunters. They suck up little shrimp just like high-powered vacuum cleaners. They swim using these pulsating fins and can move and turn surprisingly fast. He may look brightly coloured with my torches on him, but if I lose sight of him for just a second, then his camouflage is so good, he'll just disappear into the kelp. Now you see him, and now you don't. <laughs> 